But yet, people in their ignorance have been going around denying money. If you, as a fact, are absolutely penniless, never speak it, never think it. And I touched upon this Sunday and I want to develop it further. You people who go to borrow money, to make financial deals and to borrow money from banks or whoever or whatever, never go in talking about what you don't have trying to get something, you silly fool. If you're going in to borrow a million dollars, walk, talk, act, look, and smell like you've got the million already. If you're going to put forth a business deal, be romantic about it. Because the truth is, as I told you at the opening, approach all of life as a great romance. And if you walk in that bank looking like Mr. Right, Miss Money will jump out of that vault into your pocket. Whatever you go after in life, approach it mentally as if you already have it. I can't understand these people who go to do business and make deals with a I don't have attitude. Never discuss with your banker what you don't have. Discuss what you do have. And the most amount of money, for example, that has ever been loaned to people, the most successful people, it was given to them and to use as a loan because they had something. If you have nothing, you're going to get nothing. It's a law of life. Life responds to you positively on the basis of what you have. Now, you see, some of you know how you crossed yourselves up the first place. In, in the first place. You went in to borrow some money or to make a deal, and the first thing came out of your mouth was, I want to do this, that, and the other, but I don't have enough money. Shut up your mouth! <laughs> if you've got something, people will just give you. No, they'll just give it to you. You go through life looking and feeling and acting like you've got something. Strangers on the street would just walk up to you and just, just give you something. Invite you to swing in parties. <laughs> Where you'll meet a different class of people all together. Write this down and don't you ever forget it. Never attempt to deal with life from a basis of what you don't have. And if all you have is an idea, that's plenty. That's really all you need because all of life is an idea. This is why I specialize in, these, in what I call success ideas. Say that with me. Success ideas. You see, if you have the right idea, you have everything. Because everything is born out of a subjective idea. Everything is born out of the subjective womb of the mind. The subjective womb of the mind is the woman. And when your subconscious mind has been redeemed from the negative impressions of the world so that it becomes pure, it is then the Holy Mother. It is then the Virgin Mary. The subconscious mind of the individual when it has been purged and purified of the negative opinions of the world becomes the blessed mother. And the positive ideas which you conceive in your subconscious mind is the holy seed planted in the subjective womb of the mind which brings forth the son of God, the man of God, the manifestation of good. 
everything is born out of the subjective ideas in the womb of the mind. And so if you're going to do business with somebody, if you have an idea, if you have a positive idea, you have everything. Never begin by saying, I don't have. Talk about what you do have. Think about what you do have. And the first right idea, the first success idea that you need to get is a positive idea about yourself, a successful, prosperous idea about yourself. Because to get back to Reverend Ike's definition of money again, money is the getting power of self-awareness. You reach a certain point, you see, in your experience with money, when you understand it on this esoteric level, where you no longer have to work for money, money works for you. And I reached that point before the conscious mind even realized that I don't have to work for money. Money works for me. I can't keep money away from me. <laughs> and the kind of money I'm talking about, and for God's sake study this, the kind of money that I'm talking about is beyond facts and figures, dollars and cents. You see, when I say money, people think I'm just simply talking about facts and figures, dollars and cents. The kind of money that I'm talking about is more than that. The kind of money that I'm talking about, the getting power of self-awareness will get you things that facts and figures, dollars and cents can't get. I think I gave you this example. I gave it to the class in Los Angeles over the nine-week period, and it's worth repeating here. When we first decided to go on television, we contacted the networks, CBS, NBC, etc. And we discovered that the networks will not sell television time for religious purposes. You cannot buy time on the whole network. You have to, put to syndicate and put together your own net network, such as we do. But you can't buy it from, from NBC or CBS, like Sanford and Son buys it, or, or some of the other network coast-to-coast -coast programs. No amount of money will buy it. They will not sell it. And we contacted some of the other large uh, evangelists who do television work, and they told us the same things. They would listen, we've tried it, and said perhaps we could do it if we wanted to take it all the way to the Supreme Court, but it just isn't worth the hassle. But I had the self-awareness of being on an entire network. I saw it, I felt it, I visualized it, I believed it, and I left them alone. NBC contacted my office and said, hey, we want Reverend Ike on. And the first time around, I decided I didn't want to be bothered because they were trying to pick a fight between me and another evangelist, you see. They had both of us on. So I dropped it all together. Last year, I visited NBC in Burbank to visit with my friend, Wolfman Jack, while he was taping Midnight Special. <laughs> and you'd be surprised the members I have, you know. It would... <laughs> The word got around NBC that Reverend Ike is in the studio. And the director of, the producer of The Tomorrow Show found me. And he did everything he could to persuade me, we want you on NBC, The Tomorrow Show. So I just simply stated my terms. I said, okay, I want the whole hour and I don't want anybody else on but me as a guest. Money, in the terms of facts and figures, dollars and cents, for religion, couldn't buy that time. Wouldn't sell it. But I got it, and I did buy it. How? With the getting power of self-awareness. Get yourself several copies of this and rub your head in it.
Because as I say, the kind of money that I'm talking about is beyond facts and figures, dollars and cents. And it is so interesting now, all of the networks at some point or the other have requested permission to film the services of this church. NBC spent a lot of time following me all over the country. I don't know how many hours they taped. They only used a, a little segment of it on the uh, last NBC special that they did. But they taped and they taped and they taped until I got tired of them taping. <laughs> this is why I say to you that consciousness is the only currency and currency is only consciousness. Whatever you want to be, to do or to have, become conscious of the one who is being, doing and having that and that will buy it for you.